This is Minecraft Skyblock, where we are stranded on our block above the void. With nothing but a few items, we build this world up from nothing, but with a twist. We have the Create Mod. For those of you unfamiliar with Skyblock, we start out on a tiny island. And all we have is a small supplies chest and a tree. All right, let's go ahead and see what we got here. Okay, we have 10 obsidian. That'll allow us to make a nether portal right off the bat. We have ice to be used with our lava bucket to create cobblestone. We have glowberries, a useful food source early on, sugar cane, and sea pickles. I don't really see a use for these in the early game, but later in the game, they become very essential. All right, good start. The first thing we need to do is get some wood in order to make a pickaxe for our cobblestone generator. And of course, in the first minute, it's already raining. I'm going to take care here not to remove all of the logs from the tree. That way, the leaves don't decay and drop potential saplings into the void. I want to build up some cobblestone and get a platform going that will catch saplings as they fall. Alright, our first crafting table. And our first pickaxe, the wooden pickaxe. I will use this fantastic tool on free cobblestone and immediately throw it away. What's important in your cobblestone generator design is that the lava can flow into the water, but the water can never flow into the lava. If the water reaches lava source block, lava would be consumed to create obsidian. Now, there may be some more lava in the nether, but we just can't take that chance so early on. Perfect. This down. As you might have guessed, it's now time for 10 hours of cobble grinding. It's about time we upgrade to a stone pickaxe. And we'll take our wooden pickaxe and put it away forever. Remember, it's important that your first cobblestone generator destroys just about half of your cobblestone in the lava. Oh, it just figures that our first night here, it's going to storm. All right, got our first stack of cobble. I go ahead and turn this cobble into cobblestone slabs in which I will make a lower platform on the island. This is going to allow me to collect saplings from the tree and hopefully not lose any into the void. Now if we lose all the saplings, it's not the end of the world. We can. There are other trees on the bonus islands, but I'd rather not lose them right now, because that would be terribly inconvenient. I got better things to do than to get new trees. Thank you. 
Hey, all right, our first sapling. Looks like there's not, no more. I'll make a quick ladder up here. And let's plant that sapling right there. I think I'm gonna go ahead and make some charcoal. That way I can have a torch. If I put a torch next to the tree, or next to the sapling, it can grow at any time, day or night. It just needs to have that high light level. Finally, the night is about over. Sun is about to rise. Oh, here it comes now. Funny in Skyblock, he can see the sun go all the way around. This moment, oh. Tree. He immediately got a sapling. Fantastic. I'm gonna go ahead and X. Let's go ahead and get started on our first simple tree farm. I'm going to create a platform that's wide enough to collect all the saplings that may fall. And I'm going to place dirt right down the center of it. Forgot I broke my picket. So. X. All right, now that I have a small tree farm going, I'm going to go ahead and get started on my first mob farm. You may think this is pretty early to start a mob farm, but no. I need to get Enderman as soon as possible. Enderman will allow me to get a grass block. The reason I need a grass block is because that passive mobs, such as sheep, horses, pigs, cows, only spawn on grass blocks. Now, in order to maximize spawning rates, I need to move my entire setup to the bottom of the world, all the way down around negative 64. Now, there are only two ways to move grass. One is by spreading it. A grass block will spread to an adjacent dirt block over time, or by silk touch. Now, it's super early game. I don't have silk touch. I need villagers. I need a Enchantment table, these are things that you're just not going to have until way later in the series. So what I'm going to do is use an Enderman. An Enderman can pick up a grass block, and I can kill him, and he'll drop the grass block item. Back to making the mob farm, I brought up the chunk border display, so that way I can count out at least 24 blocks from the main island. The spawning platform needs to be 24 blocks away, so that mobs will spawn. Any closer, they will not. I'm crafting up some trapdoors. I'm going to use these trapdoors in the gap in the walkway here. That way, mobs will think they can walk over it, but they cannot. They will simply fall to their death. I really don't want to be attacked on my island.
My god, it rains way too much in this one. Oh. 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 oh my god, this freaking rain. It actually killed an Enderman. The only Enderman we had. Now it's already daytime. We have to wait. No, another night. And hopefully get another Enderman. Hopefully it doesn't freaking rain. All right, Spider. It's time to meet your maker. We're going to fight. Me and you. Right now. Let's throw down. Come on. Come on. All right, string. All right, now I have two string. We can make a fishing rod. I like to fish in my cobble generator. Don't you? That's the best place to go fishing. This will be our first source of food, and not a moment too soon. Skipping ahead a little, I'm going to go ahead and start making my way to the bottom of the world. Here I'm going to place lava and let it run all the way down to level negative 64. It's been a few minutes, let's go ahead and take a look at this with our cheaty cam. And you see there, it's not moving down any further. It's at negative 64. So we're ready to turn this into cobblestone. Oops. I'm going to go ahead and pick up this lava. Excellent. Look at it go. Ah, oh, that never gets old. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, we finally got an Enderman. We position the boat here and then give him a look. Oh no, oh no. Uh, well, he's still here. So I'll pick up my stuff and maybe I can push him into a boat. Ah, he's already holding the wrong block. He's got a dirt block. So we'll have to wait for him to put that down and then pick up a grass block. Now this is going to take a while. Come on. Come on. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. Perfect. All right. Let's get him positioned. And then we can wait for him to simply drop that block and pick up a grass block. There we go. Right. All right. Now, kill him. Hopefully, I can pick up his grass block. Yes. That's huge. All right, put this away. Since I have a grass block, I'm going to go ahead and move all my stuff down at the bottom of the world. This includes my trees, all of the dirt, 
a cobblestone generator, and all that's going to be left up here is a small platform. See here, real quick, I'm testing to make sure it's not a slime chunk, and it is a slime chunk, so let's move it over here. This looks good. Set up all the grass, and so the grass will spread to the dirt, and just a second here, we'll get our first mob. A cow. Well, that was short-lived. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and make a campfire and do it, enjoy our first steak. <laughs> ah, delicious. Now, I think that I'm going to call this episode here. In the next episode, we'll be working on getting some iron. Once we have, I think, 12 blocks of iron, we'll be able to make a iron farm using the crate method. All right, everybody, have a good night. If you enjoyed, please subscribe and like and comment. And goodbye.